What's going on YouTube? Recom Coach Jack here with another exercise tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the dumbbell lunge. Now, before we get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already and drop a like on this video. Now for dumbbell lunge, you're gonna need a space and some dumbbells. Now I teach dumbbell lunges statically, so in one spot. Also, with your repetitions, you don't necessarily have to alternate. I actually prefer doing most of my reps on one leg and then the other. The issue that a lot of people have with lunges is that as you get stronger in the legs, you naturally need to hold on to bigger dumbbells and holding onto the dumbbells for let's say 15 reps per leg is 30 reps of holding like sometimes 20 or 30 kilo dumbbells and it can take its toll on your forearms and sometimes even your neck. It's like carrying heavy groceries for five minutes. So sometimes I like doing all my reps on one leg, taking a minute and then doing them all on the other leg. So. The reason why I do them statically is that we want to have all the emphasis on the front leg when we're doing the lunges. The problem is that when people step forward, they've got to try to, in an instant, balance and stabilize that knee and that foot in an instant when lunging into it. And you get this sometimes kind of awkward, wobbly kind of lunge. However, if we can keep one foot in a place, open up the toes and grip the floor and keep a nice stable foot, so I'm thinking about my big toe, pinky toe and heel rammed into the ground firmly. Each time I lunge, I can step back and focus on that foot and it doesn't actually move. And we achieve basically the same thing without all those balance and coordination issues. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna use some 10 kilo dumbbells. I'm gonna do my right leg. And from here, I'm gonna tuck my chin and actually look at my foot. Looking at it's gonna help me control how balanced and stable it is. So I'm gripping the floor with my toes as if I'm squeezing it. And I'm gonna take a breath in, step back, lunge, and return. Just like that. Now, if you want to, if you want to target more glutes and a little bit more hamstrings, you can lunge a lot further back and sit a lot more upright. And what you get is a more vertical shin, something like this. Which is more challenging on your glutes and equally more challenging on the quad at the rear leg. But I like working on my quads for lunges. So I'm actually going to let my ankle flex a lot and my knee actually go forward and keeping my torso kind of hunched over. So all my weight is emphasized on this one foot right here. And again, we don't have that issue of having to like, you know, jump into place and hope that we land correctly and potentially even have a different length of lunge every single time. This is much easier. So that's dumbbell lunge. Do it in one place, step back into position, complete all your reps on one leg, and then the other, and you're gonna have a much better time. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more.